Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for a Joe's to Pros Academy SQL Server Unlock series. My name is Bali Kehel. I have Rick here with me. So this series came up by our users who are on Joe's to Pros Academy who wanted to know about certain topics. We decided to have this series on for you. Uh, Rick, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, all right. Uh, I'm Rick Moreland, and I am the chief instructor for the Joe's Pros Academy. And I've uh, written 15 books on database programming, administration, and a little bit on object-oriented programming. All right, cool. So we're going to kick off this uh, first series with our uh, topic, Aggregations Made Easy. So Rick is going to tell us a little bit about Aggregations Made Easy first, and then we're going to have a deep dive, kind of a little bit, you know, uh, a demo from his side and uh, it's going to give you a good insight about you know, how you can, you can get aggregations done quickly. So Rick, why don't you start? Yeah, well, the good news is it's really two steps. Mm -hmm. Know what you want and then do it. All right. And actually, that's what we're going to cover in these five minutes. All now, right. knowing what you want, there's a technical term for it. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that in a second. All right. Knowing what you want is like, let's say you came to me and said, I want to report on the population. And I gave you the population of the U.S. and Canada. Mm -hmm. And you said, good job, but I wanted the population on Washington, Oregon, New York, Florida, British Columbia. Uh -huh. Oh, you want it by state, not by country. All right. Okay, so I would change my grain. It's called mm -hmm. the grain. I would change my grain from aggregating by country to aggregating by state. Okay. So right. if you know your grain, you're basically saying, like, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. So we're going to show an example where we have got a line item of every invoice every customer has ever ordered and we have repeat customers that are in there many times. All right. But so we don't want to see them listed many times so our grain is going to be one line per customer. If you ordered 100 times, well there should be 100 next to your name. If you've ordered once, there should be a one next mm -hmm. to your name. Mm -hmm. So our grain is going to be the customer ID but we're going to start off by looking at the raw table and right. doing it step by step. All right, perfect. So before we jump into it, who is the end audience? What do you think the recommended audience for this uh, demo of yours? Oh, this is for people who have gotten uh, comfortable with SQL, and there's a lot of people. There's analysts kind of at the beginning stages of okay. their career, and sometimes there's semi-technical managers who mm -hmm. need to be liaisons between teams. Or if you're starting your quest on SQL Server and you've done some administration and now you're getting into more of the development side, All right everybody is going to eventually get into the need for aggregations. And right. it's always asked on all the interviews. Well, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. So let's jump into the demo. Right, and you all haven't right. seen this demo yet, have you? All right, I have not. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited to see it, actually. So here so. on my screen is um, about 7,000 records of every single order every customer's made. Now here on this first line, you see customer 597. All right. He ordered five at once. He just, he ordered five. It was a trip to the underwater one day East Coast. So maybe he has a family of five and he's taking them all along. Right. Yeah. And then this next one, you see this person ordered two. But has customer 597 ordered from us before mm -hmm. and how many have they ordered. Mm -hmm. So here he's already got five. Did mm -hmm. he buy five another time and he's up to ten? So I'm going to choose the grain of customer ID. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times a customer is ordered, I want to see customer ID once. Okay. So knowing my grain is customer ID, the first thing I do is I group by my grain. Mm -hmm. This is the thing I want to see once, no matter how many times they've ordered. I'll see their summary later. Now right. if you run it at this point, you're going to get an error. Because group by has basically told your query that up here, you're not looking for every record in every field. You're looking for something specific. So you've got to so, have a value down there. You've got to have a field down there. Yeah, there's right? two things you're going to have to have. The first thing is always match your grain because you want to see the customer. Okay. And then choose what you want to see. And I said, I want to see their total, which is a sum. Mm -hmm. I want to see the total of their quantity. All right. So I'll go ahead and run this. Okay, and we can see here's customer 593 is ordered 10, customer 261 is ordered 4, customer 0, which is, uh, I, have, I have a 0 in there for people who've read the books and seen the stuff. Customer 0 is a self-ordering testing system. Sometimes people put zeros in for a testing placeholder, okay. so I put that in there too. All right. And now I'm looking at customer 593 or customer 355 who has 40. Now it's possible customer 355 owns a company and he bought 40, one for each person in his work. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's got a family of four and he's gone 10 times. Yeah, yeah. So what I see here is a quantity of units sold. Mm -hmm. Now notice I have not named the field yet. Yeah. Because whenever you have an expression field, in this case it's an aggregate, it, it just says, hey, you haven't picked the name of the field. So I'm going to go ahead and name this as total units ordered. Our orders, I should say. Okay. Let me back up a little bit. Um, 
Now I'm going to run it again, and all this did is neaten up our query, which is essential if the presentation layer is consuming this. Mm -hmm. You have a website consuming it. Then you know exactly. You have to name everything yeah. because the two everything systems is ordered, are talking. And then you can refer to it back. Yeah. Depending upon how complex the queries get, right? Exactly. Yeah, I want to yeah. give it a logical name. Yeah. So great, customer 593 has ordered 10 units, but okay. did he order 5 and 5? Mm -hmm. Or five and two and three? Mm -hmm. Or did he order two ten times? Mm -hmm. So I also want to know not just how many units we've ordered, but how many invoices those were on. Okay. You follow mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a count function. Now what should I count? Should I count the customer ID? And, and when you get to count, you can actually say, look, I just want to count rows. Mm -hmm. So there's a shortcut for that that you can put a star. Sometimes you want to do that, sometimes you don't. We go into that further in the academy. And then I'm just going to say, this is the total invoice orders. Run this, and I can see customer oh. 593, he's bought mm -hmm. 10 units from us, but he, he has placed, gone, uh, basically he's had three shopping carts, yeah. you could say. And in those three shopping carts, he's bought a total of 10, 10 items. 10 items, mm -hmm. all right. This is pretty neat, this is very nice. So, uh, so when it comes down to aggregation functions, like what are the key things that somebody has to keep in mind, you know, uh, so that you know they avoid errors and uh, and they you know have their data sets, you know, as you're showing right now. Yeah, because after you do this a couple times, you'll get good at it. But when you have to think about it, just think this: What is my grain? Is it by state? Is it by country? Is it by customer? Mm -hmm. Is it by year? Mm -hmm. Whatever it's by, put that after the group by. All right. And I usually, as a good practice, put that as the first field in the summary because mm -hmm. look, what, look, watch what happens if I don't. It still runs, but you have no idea who these numbers belong to. Yeah. So here's the quick summary of it. Know your grain, put that grain in the group by and in your select, mm -hmm. and then after that field, choose what you want to aggregate on. Sum, count, you can even do average, min, max. Choose your um, aggregation function after you've done your grain on your grouping. That was some really good stuff, Rick. Thanks for the great presentation. I think so everybody who's joining us uh, during this presentation feels the same way too. Uh, do send us your feedback. Also suggest some topics so that we can incorporate that in the upcoming episodes. Until next time, keep watching. Thank you.